in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a goal setting slide in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click i have put this uh, five or six different options to reach my goal and uh, at this stage the three goals uh, have been completed one is not yet done and two are still pending so when i click you can add some detailed text here for each goal and you can add some icons to it and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw the rectangle this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this teal color then I'm going to add one more rectangle, draw the rectangle, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, I'm going to give this uh, the aqua color and then send this to back. Then go to insert shapes, from the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key, all right, shape outline, uh, make it, I'm going to make it this as uh, aqua color and then i'm going to increase the weight you can click on weight and click on more lines and then start increasing the width all right so maybe i'm going to use 10 points and shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color all right so i'm just going to put it in the center make sure it is in the center then hold the control shift key add second third fourth fifth and six so depending on the requirement you can reduce the size and increase this option so to give the uh, uniformity between the the equal spacing between these options so i'm going to select all this oval shape go to the shape format and go to the align and say uh, distribute vertically all right now the next thing which i'm going to do this to connect this one i'm going to use one rectangle draw a rectangle again from the center maybe this much width all right shape outline make it no outline and shape will make it white and make sure it is aligned center and then send this to back all right so now you can see here our design is ready the only thing which i have done wrong is let me just select this one and i'm going to make the outer line as white and inside as the aqua color so let me just change this one I'm going to make this a shape outline as white and shape fill as aqua color. It should be this way. All right. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some icons. So go to insert icons and I'm going to choose three different icons here. So first icon, let me just choose the tick mark and the cross mark. So somewhere it is at the bottom here. You can see here this one and this one plus i need to add one flag as well click on insert and move this flag at the top rotate it with flip horizontal graphic fill i'm going to make it red color you can reduce the size and you can just put it here and for this one for the red i'm going to make it as for the cross mark i'm going to make it as red and for this i'm going to make this as a green color reduce the size maybe 0.5 and here i'm just going to put this one here again press ctrl d for me these three options are done and these options are not done and these two options still yet to do okay so now i'm going to select all these options except the flag and press ctrl g to group it you can see here it, we have to group like this then you have to go to the effects then go to the 3d rotation from the presets i'm going to choose this one which is perspective relax moderately just click it here you can see here it end up getting like this and you have got a different options available here i can make this perspective you can see here i can make the perspective like this just increase the perspective and then put it exactly here again if you want you can uh, play with the different rotations also you can see here i don't want this one i can take this one okay this is the y rotation and again i don't need this also the x so let me just increase the 
the perspective and then let me just put it here like this in the center all right and make sure that this flag also it is in the center like this let me just remove the guides so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this now once this is done you can go to insert text box you can write the goal one this is the first goal which we have completed make it white i'm using a font called futura and right align this one and then let me just duplicate this one i can just put it here one and put it here sorry and one more control d to duplicate and i'm going to bring this down and i'm going to put it here now let me just select this one control d come to the other side left align and i'm going to put it the different goals here and we can change the goal so this is goal one this is goal two like that three and four like that you can just change it three four five and if you want you can make it six also there all right and then you can go and insert some detail text add detail text here again white font reduce the size right align and put it here so you can see here the goal one and goal two we have completed and then the other goals we have not yet started so you can just add the text for each option something like this so let's duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here right align and put the text here so you can see here uh, we can we have created this a uh, goal slide and if you want more text or more options also you can add it and if you like to add one more person where uh, he's just checking the slides or the not the slide sorry the the points then you can go to click on insert icons and you can just choose any right icon for this one so we have to just find out if the icons is not available here then we need to search on the net or you can add a or you can get a app called pigeon that or from there also you can just add it so let me just choose any good uh, icon from here anyway which is not relevant but let me just select this one click insert and i'm just going to rotate this one increase the size if you want and then here this is the graphic fill i can make it red color or whatever so this way you can add it but anyway this icon is not relevant so i don't think so this icon has to be here there's another way you can just go and type this one this particular app is also called the pigeon app and then you can just choose you can see a wide variety of apps which is uh, absolutely free you can just download it maybe you can just have these icons i can just drag and drop here and increase the size so you can see here i can use this icon but anyway this icon is also not related but you can just go and search and use some nice icons from this and again the last thing if you want to add some basic animation you can add the basic animation effect to it